So we'll start with our starters. For me, well, it's obviously everybody knows Steph Curry yep. is starting this game. But the second spot is up for debate. Now, what Trey just said about LaMelo Ball pertains to John Morant for me. John Morant versus Donovan Mitchell was the debate in my books. Mm -hmm. And Donovan Mitchell is the head of the best offense in the league. Surprising that the Jazz are hmm. kicking ass. Uh, but, 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 but this is about the fans somewhat. And uh, I think John Morant is a one-of-one one experience in the league. He's one of a kind, and he should be starting in my book. Now, if you put Donovan Mitchell there, got no sure, sure. no problem. Okay, but but I, I, yeah, Curry and Morant for me uh, would be my starters. And, and guys, if you put Chris Paul in there, you put Devin Booker, it makes sense. But guys like Luka have taken a, a step back this year, and Damian Lillard have taken a step back. So Curry and Morant, where are we going with the forwards? Okay, I like that. Front court starters. LeBron. What? Ever heard of him? <laughs> Pretty good still. Yeah. yeah. But he wasn't He wasn't in Lee's picks a couple weeks ago. He's obviously been ridiculous. Yeah, that's the last three that's weeks. A fair point. He that's came true. back Things and lit the, yeah. lit the league on fire. Do you think fire. you lit a fire under LeBron James? I probably. Yeah. I mean, he obviously <laughs> listens to the show. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but again, that that's why. I mean, you know, when I made those picks and the same with today, it's not on, like, the Ja Morant is an outstanding choice as far as that's it's a fan's vote. But does he get in over Donovan Mitchell? Based on the way the season's gone, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so who? Okay. So along with Bron, okay. along with LeBron James, Nikola Jokic is getting a start. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that Easy makes sense. one. That makes a lot of sense. Then it gets maybe a little interesting here. Now it gets interesting yeah. because we got to talk about defense. <laughs> yeah, maybe <laughs> starting <laughs> at center. <laughs> the other center <laughs> also lebron james kind of a center <laughs> yeah, right yeah. now three centers here. three center lineup the centriest center of them all rudy gobert yeah, i like it that's my pick i don't like it <laughs> but he 100 percent deserves it the guy's leading the league in field goal percentage and rebounds per game he's the current beef king and we haven't had a 20 rebound game in the all-star game since dikembe mutombo oh. in 2001 so i'd like to see rudy gobert go out there and just get every single wow. rebound. That'd be cool. <laughs> it's good that LeBron picked it up because this could be an even more defensive front court if LeBron, you know, stayed injured. It could be Draymond Green taking his spot. <laughs> yeah, uh, exactly. That's what it came down to for me uh, for the last starter in the in the West front court was between Draymond and Rudy Gobert, and they're both defense guys. So I don't know. It's like, do you want the guy that's going for fifteen and fifteen, or the guy with a triple single? I don't know. The last <laughs> time somebody started an All Star game with a triple single, so. Give me Rudy Gobert. He was easier to find on the user experience. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I've, I've, I have found it hard to give Rudy Gobert a start, uh, a starting spot in the in the game for a long time, because he's never been an offensive player. You think you know the best players in the game should be able to just go get a bucket, mm -hmm. uh, but Rudy Gobert is having his best year. He really is having his best year, and he's getting better. So I got no problem with that. So then you're going to throw Dre as a lock as a forward spot. Yep. And to me, uh, as I said, Donovan Mitchell, starter or not, he's a lock in the backcourt. Okay. So we, we got seven players. I'll throw in a couple more guards. Okay. Um, and, and it's both sons. There you go. Devin Booker and Chris Paul. And it's helped that Luka Doncic has not been himself and he's he's just hasn't been great this year uh, because that that would have been a debate and and Damian Lillard as well uh, so those are my 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 guards are Mitchell Booker and Chris Paul to back up my my two guards yep. of Morant and Curry so we got a nice five five of them right there we'll get to the wild cards and five of them and a nice uh, I, I like how we're I personally say guards and forwards because this front guards front court <laughs> It doesn't make sense. That is weird. Anyway. <laughs> it's weird when you put it that Guards way. and forwards. All right. So I've got my five guards. Uh, who are you adding to Draymond Green with your uh, forward reserves? <laughs> I've got another center, actually. Yeah, that's yeah. why it's FC, front court. It's all centers, centers in yeah. the Western Conference. Actually, a really shallow group, I feel like. Of the four positional groups, I feel like the West front court yep. is kind of the weakest because you got LeBron, Jokic, Gobert, Draymond, absolute locks. And then I got Carl Anthony Towns as a minor lock. Yeah. Uh, he's at 24, nine and three, 50% from the field, 42 from three, 82% uh, from the free throw line. He's having a great season. He's putting up numbers. He can be frustrating to watch. Uh, if it comes down to rebounding in the fourth quarter of this game, I much rather would see Rudy Gobert out there than Carl Anthony Towns because he is not going to grab a rebound in the fourth quarter. But wow. he's having a good year, and he deserves to be back in the All-Star game. Yep. So that's 
my last minor lock uh, front court wise. Yeah, and, that, and that's why I think Andrew Wiggins has some potential to get in there. That's right. I would I would put in Towns before Wiggins, but I think Wiggins is going to squeeze in. Yeah, you uh, see here, this is my last bro in category because you need one more front court player, and then it's a little it's a tough choice between Paul George, who's having a nice season, yeah. 24, 7, and 5. Percentages aren't that great. He's sort of Tatum-like. He's a little bit yeah, of a Tatum yeah. right now. Anthony Davis is the other choice, 23, 10, and 3 with a couple of blocks and a steal, but both of those guys are having good, not great seasons, and, and both on the shelf yeah, right now. That yeah. hurts. Which is then when Wiggins <laughs> comes into play. 19 points per game, 4 rebounds, 2 assists, 49, 42, and 70. 26th in the NBA in scoring, 11th in the Western Conference. That's not bad. The other guy you would have to consider, DeAndre Ayton, to get all centers in there. 17 and 11, <laughs> shooting 62% from the field. But honestly, seeing how well JaVale McGee has played for the Suns, Bismack Biombo, <laughs> yeah. Jalen Smith, even Frank Kaminsky had a nice run. I'm like, just let Chris Paul be a front court player as well because he will get any big guy buckets yep. at a high percentage. So I don't necessarily trust the Suns' big guy as an all-star. So last bro in has got to be between Paul George Anthony Davis and Andrew Wiggins. What do you think, Tassie? Mm. What do you think? I think Wiggins is getting in there. I, I, I think the Paul George being hurt uh, uh, that kills his chances. And he he peaked in October and uh, a decline in, in in November, December. Now he's out. I find it hard to put him in there. The Anthony Davis storyline not good not as good. well. No. Um, and I think yeah, I think Wiggins is is got some potential to be there. So uh, so just to recap, Curry Morant. Jokic, LeBron, Gobert, mm -hmm. starters. Draymond is a lock. Donovan Mitchell, Booker, Chris Paul are in there as yep. well. And then Towns, I think, is fine. Yeah. We yep. got two more spots. So you got two more spots. It yeah. sounds like you're you're contemplating, yeah. of course, Paul George or a Wiggins. Yeah, I think it's, I, to me, it's Wiggins and Luca yeah. are the yeah. ones who get in as the as the wild cards because they 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 went out over Lillard. Well, the coaches just. You know, check Lillard. Has he got a lifetime achievement award? Is it just going to happen year after year after year for Lillard now? I say nay. Uh, but uh, the the Paul George AD thing. I mean, they're a sub five hundred team now. Both of those teams, hmm. uh, wherever wherever the Lakers end up in the standings, uh, same with the Clippers. So that hurts them. And so yeah, even though Towns is in the same boat, a sub five hundred guy. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think Wiggins and Luca would be my last two picks. And Trey, who are you ultimately going with there? I, I'm definitely going with Luca and <laughs> order me a sandwich. I, okay, I don't, say, I don't get Island. this Wiggins thing. It, like, what? Where is you could make the exact same case for like Bogdanovich with the Jazz. They're like they're like basically identical. But for some reason, like we're all last. Well, I don't think it's gonna be Wiggins. I don't. I think it's I gonna think it be Lillard, be. and it's gonna be Lillard. I think they'll still give him the All Star wow. spot as long as he's healthy, just because it's Lillard, and he's gonna. The counting stats are gonna be there, but I don't. I don't know. There's just there's not a great last candidate for Western Conference front court guy. Right. Really. Right. <laughs> who, who would That's you how we can squeeze I'm, it. I'm, I'm basically I'm basically the same. Like honestly, Anthony Davis, his numbers are the most deceptive. I think of any candidate there because 23 points, 52 percent, nine rebounds. 10 rebounds if you round up there it doesn't feel like he has had any significant impact on the Lakers this season as we've seen in years gone by so he's out for me Luca again he's been injured and the Mavericks have struggled but uh, I've got him in I think because he just does so much for that yeah. team and then the Wiggins one it, 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 it is weird because it's like you, there are other guys who seemingly have an impact but Wiggins has stood out this season you know, I mean, what about your man? Well, I, what I liked with your, with your team and when I was making my West team too, I like that you have you have two guys from the three best teams in the Western Conference. You've got two Jazz players, you got two Suns players, and you got two Warriors players. And then it's like you guys are we are all now debating like, well, which of those three really elite teams gets the third guy? And I like I don't think it needs to be. And here's the other thing: why does it it doesn't need to be a front court player? Maybe no. it's another guard, right? Like maybe it is like a Dejounte Murray or. You know, I don't think it's going to be Shea Gildas Alexander, but there are many other guards that I guess could get a look, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of a for like forcing, I guess <laughs> forcing a Wiggins or even a Paul George who's injured or an Anthony Davis who's injured, right? Does it yeah. need to be a yeah. player? Yeah, I, I, I'm with Trey in that it's probably Dame. You think it's Dame? Really? Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I, mean, I, I don't numbers, know. The numbers not, not so good. I mean, he, not he, so good. yeah, he it's could a just Bradley get the -ish. respect vote there. Yeah. Otherwise, he's not being good again. Um, and the Blazers have been a disaster yeah. as well. Yeah. So, 
who knows? Who knows? That's why, that's why I think it's the same as it was in the Eastern Conference. I think there's uh, so many guys who you could make a case for, none of them sort of super convincing over the other guy. You Do know? you want to expand the rosters? No. <laughs> Shrink, Shrink the rosters. them, yeah. <laughs> seven only, seven players, and that's it. I mean, honestly, I think Anthony Edwards has a case as well. I think he has a case for how he's been for the uh, Timberwolves this season. But, you know, more of a case than, again, someone like a Lillard who you just know is having a rough season by his standards, but he does get that sort of... Uh, you know what's it like the uh, historical sort of advantage where it's like, well, we will give you a pass this season and get you the in legacy. Because, bump. Yeah, exactly. Those, those those sorts of things. Is there but, any other what about this guy uh, that you just want to get off your chest here? Because <laughs> there's like there's two names that I, or three names I guess that haven't been said out loud that I think I've been th- could people be have been thinking about them though. Spoken. Uh, speak the name. Okay, they're not making it, but Brandon Ingram. Yeah. Okay. Fine. He's playing great right now. Chris Stapps, Porzingis? No. Dare I no, say it? No, don't no? say it, man. I had Valanchunas over Porzingis, oh, wow. and even I couldn't put him in, into my actual notes. I and, just had it in my brain. Yeah. And then I've got uh, <laughs> I've got De'Aaron Fox, I mean, who's putting wow. up like, good numbers, too, but he's not going to make it. Wow. I mean, it's, yeah. uh, and, and look, I'll say here now, Trey won the bet. He won the uh, Shea Gildas Alexander mm-hmm. bet because he's not making it. It's what's sad is his numbers are worse than they were last year. Mm. And it was nice that the, that the Thunder started winning some games there, and everybody got excited, and he had like some big shots that helped his case. But uh, he is there's too many there's too many guards. Like even if it came down like it came down to like a Lillard, he's going to get picked over him. I think Dejounte Murray would get picked over Shea right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe even a Fox. Maybe even an mm-hmm. Edwards. Like I had, unfortunately, and as much as I love him, as much as I want to win this bet. I don't think it's going to happen. So, well done. I don't know what we bet on it. I can't remember. But, uh. <laughs> I think we just said we were betting. Just in yeah. general. Well, I like that. Just I a like gentleman's that. bet. Respect to you.